Hello and welcome back to Walk the Cinema Podcast. Uh, this is part six of the Oscar highlights, which means we've already done five parts. So if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, you got to give us a five-star review. Isn't that right? That's how it works. So we're going to be talking about King Richard. Yeah, King Richard. Um, mm. We thought about seeing this in theaters, but then we ended up not for some reason. I think it... The theater that we usually go to is kind of far away, and we just never found the time to watch it. It's also not interesting enough. (laughs) Oh, dang. (laughs) What? Already. Already a uh, controversy. Well, I give it a positive rating, Mm. but is it bland? It's so bland. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's bland. I think... I would have liked to have actually watched a documentary Yes. about Venus and Serena more than I would like to have watched this. <laughs> okay, this ends in documentary footage, like in the credits. Yeah. Like the, the ending credits. And I, when those rolled out, I was like, damn, I really watched that. Yeah. Like the documentary seems a lot more interesting. But then you also have Will Smith producing, starring, and making a huge run for the Oscar. So obviously you're going to make this. Mm-hmm. Because Will Smith is very rich and very famous and he's the lead candidate to win the oscar he's been the lead candidate since the movie came out he's fine i i do think this is a good story that's the thing it's a it's a it's one of those feel good types things where you see these young girls work hard for their dreams and 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 have supportive parents and have a community that supports them and wants to root for them, you know? Right. It's nice, I guess. I mean, it's not better than the eyes of Tammy Faye or being the Ricardos as a biography, though. Yeah, I guess. I think it might be more important for, you know, the sport of tennis Mm -hmm. because the Williams sisters were very important for female tennis, for modern female. They still are. Yeah. Even though they're, you know, falling off a little. Well, it's, it is like, you know, cycles. They've they've kind of gotten up in age. Yeah. They're kind of moving on with their lives. They're in their 40s. But but it's, they're also important for little girls that come from an underprivileged situation. Either if they're, you know, black, Asian, Latino, white, whatever. The, this is a story that can influence all, but yeah, especially little, young black girls can have this these huge idols that are at the top of their sport. Yeah, that's what I like about it. I think that it's, I do think it's important for young children to see themselves in movies. Yeah, and all that's great, but young children are not watching the Oscars for the best picture. That's true. That is true. And they don't care if, if King Richard won the Oscar for best picture, which you, I hope it won't. It's... If we look at the list of the ten movies, this is the most boring one by far. It's not the worst. And it's not boring in the sense you're sitting on the couch falling asleep. It's boring as it's an uninspired movie. Hmm. It's just a straight up biography with no real special element to it. But I wouldn't even say that it's like completely a biography. Because I'd say up until about halfway through the movie, it, it really focuses on... The dad. The dad. Which is titular character yeah which a lot of people complain about but honestly it's fine because the sisters are involved in this they're producers and they're more than happy with seeing their dad shine yeah so i'm not actually going to complain about the dad being the main character i guess but i think it got more interesting when it kind of shifted focus to venus you know mm-hmm. and her her struggles and 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 you know being trying to prove herself not mm-hmm. settling for yeah. the contracts. I mean, yeah. she's What she did was super important at the time. And it sets precedence for the sport of tennis that a lot of young kids are going to come through mm-hmm. and be immediate superstars. And that's kind of like... I don't know if you remember when Serena Williams lost that final match. She got really upset at the referee. And it was like a huge problem with people saying Mm. that she's very entitled to wins because she's used to winning. And she lost to like a 17-year-old girl. Yeah, but it's kind of like 
they were in the same situation at the yeah in it's, a different time. It's, when new kids come through, it's a huge. It's always a huge story, and mm-hmm. it's always really influential on other kids that might be coming through. Your brother's twelve, mm-hmm. and he plays tennis, and I don't think he cares about it. Like he's not going to be a professional. Yeah, but if you if you are hoping to be one, and you're doing the circuits, and you're playing the games, and maybe you want to give up, but then you see a seventeen year old dethrone the queen of the sport, that's going to motivate you a lot. Yeah, and the. the the sister's story is perfect for that, especially Venus, where she went in and she put all she had against the best at the time and made her dad's word come true, which, you know, he promised that she's the next Beethoven, the next Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, which is in the trailers. And I think it's so cringy in the trailer, but then in the movie, it's actually like just they just say it yeah. and move on. But in the trailer, they focus so much on him saying, I have the two next Michael Jordans. And I think it's so silly that they focused on that. Mm. Because it's not about Michael Jordan. <laughs> it's about Venus and Serena Williams. Yeah, but at, at the time, there was no Venus and Serena Williams. Like, that, those names didn't mean anything to you. No, sure, in the movie. But in the trailer, mm. I don't know why they put that in such a huge focus in the trailer. Because, of course, we know they're going to be big. Yeah. This movie's not full of surprises and twists. We know what happens. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that... I don't know. I I do kind of wish that it focused more on the sister's journey, I guess. Because Mm -hmm. you kind of see it through the dad's eyes, right? Where you see, oh, he's worried about them being burnt out. Which is why he pulls them out of, of... the tennis junior circuit, you know? Right. Which is... A controversial I mean, people thing. criticized them at the time. And honestly, the people that criticized them are right. Because it's crazy to do that. Yeah. Like, and if it didn't work out, it'd be a huge failure for her, for them. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess it did work out, so it doesn't matter. And mm-hmm. he looks good in retrospective. But if you have a kid playing tennis, don't pull him out of the tournament. <laughs> It's if very you, important. If you want to get them to go big, like, you know, it's, every story is different, you know, but I, something I really did enjoy about this was the two young girls that played Venus and Serena. Hmm. I thought they were so cute and so good in their roles. Yeah, but my problem with that, like, they were good, whatever, but the movie really didn't want to focus on them. Or the rest of the family, except mm. the f- they only really wanted to focus on the father for a long while, which was their decision, and I think we know why they made that decision, because Will Smith needs an Oscar, <laughs> but, and he'll get it, maybe, we'll talk about it in the prediction episode coming at the end mm-hmm. of the 10 episodes, but, I mean, I, yeah, it's Oscar bait, that's what it is. <laughs> They're fishing for as many Oscars as they can. They got six nominations, which is incredible to me. Mm. I would have given it, like, one for screenplay. I don't think Will Smith is bad in this, though. No, but does he stand out? No. I don't know. I haven't formed my opinions yet on... on Because my thing is, like, if not him, then who? Which, we can talk about that later, but, you know, right. something to think about, which I haven't thought about I yet. I like Del Toro in the French Dispatch. That's true. Okay. How about that? Okay, but we're, we're not going to talk about that yet. This is about King Richard. And, you know, it is an inspirational, feel-good movie, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. If this wasn't the best picture, I'd be talking about it differently. Mm. because i think it's a good movie to put on the couch with your family Mm -hmm. and you can enjoy the rise of these two women and how the father supported them and took precautions yeah and risks that were kind of insane yeah but he made it through the kids are now women super successful it's a great story to watch with your family Mm -hmm. on the weekend or in a weeknight a best picture nomination doesn't see doesn't sit too right with me. Even though I, the rating I gave this is a lot higher than half of the other movies. Yeah. But well, because I think this one, what this one has going for it is, it didn't bore me. It 
it was a little slow in certain areas. Um, kind of towards the middle, it kind of drags a little bit. But I was always entertained. I was always rooting for Venus, since Venus is kind of the one that they focus on the most because she was the one that was trailblazing. Like, she's the one that got the coaching. She's the older one. She's the older one. She's the one that that went up against, like, the number one or number two person. I forget. Yeah, um, but then, like, they also sprinkle in, you know... Some stuff about Serena. Some stuff that she... Oh, like, the father says, oh, you could be better than your sister. Yeah. And, I mean... They say that in the movie. I don't know if he said that in real life. Yeah. But in the movie, it kind of has to say because she did become bigger than her sister. Yeah. Well, because I think he says right now Venus is, or Venus is going to be the greatest in the world, but you're going to be greatest of all time. Something like that. Yeah. Something. Something. Might be exactly that. that. I don't. I'm not (laughs) sure. It's something like that. I don't know. It's enjoyable. It is. It's just a boring nomination. Not because the movie's boring. Again, it's the thematically boring nomination it doesn't seem like something that would get a best picture nomination but what do we know about the people that vote they make it very hard to actually understand how movies get best picture nominations Mm. but this one is actually like really highly predicted to maybe even win Mm -hmm. like it's not out of the realm of possibilities Mm -hmm. which would be kind of crazy Because when you think of a lot of movies that won Best Picture, you think of iconic stuff, right? Yeah. I do think that that's probably something it has going against it. I don't see this movie being talked about in 10 years, maybe, you know, on a large scale. I think it'll still be like, oh, remember King Richard? That was pretty good. Yeah. But I don't think it's going to be on the top list i think for for a regular crowd like a family they're gonna like this probably the most out of all 10 yeah i I agree there's no way that a you know a normal person is gonna like like rich pizza more than this yeah (laughs) but this is not for normal people this is for people that love movies people that are part of movies the people voting for this are members of guilds they're directors they're actors they're they, they're doing the technical bits of this. They're writing the music. They're writing the scripts. Mm-hmm. So these are people that work in movies and not regular crowd. For regular crowd, this is great. I liked it fine. It's not inspired. Yeah, you just feel like it's uninspired. It's an yeah, uninspired choice. I would have liked a documentary more, I think. Yeah, but honestly, okay, in terms of... Since this is the only like true biography... And it's a sports biography at that. Yeah, but so this is the only true biography on this list. I'm so glad that this one got it over being the Ricardos. Right. You know, like if they were going to have to, if they were going to put, pick a movie that was a biographical mm. movie, this one is leagues better okay, than so, being the Ricardos. So the biographical movies that could have gotten it was being the Ricardos, this, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, which was very by the numbers, but I actually liked it more. Hmm. And maybe Tick, Tick, Boom. Is that a biography that we can count? Yeah. yeah. I think Tick, Tick, Boom is actually the closest one. Maybe. But, yeah. I mean, this is the one that deserves it the most. Because none of these movies are iconic in any way. Yeah. Maybe for some people, Tick, Tick, Boom is iconic. Again, different crowd than I feel like what we are, you know? Yeah, completely different crowd. But, like, with this one, I can't help but like it because i think it's cute i think that the girls are Mm. cute i think that when they're showing their sister friendship and sister bond that they have not only with you know each other venus and serena but you know in the small moments they have with their other sisters you know it's cute it's cute it's sweet and it's it's taking it from like an actual story perspective Mm -hmm. and not worrying about like is it oscar bait like is it you know, this, that, or whatever. It's feel. It's a feel-good movie that makes me happy. You it's know? a feel-good movie. Yeah, that, it's it's a feel-good movie all the way. And I mean, it's kind of Oscar bait, but also, if I need to compliment it to the highest extent, I think this does an excellent job at not, not exploring being poor. Oh, exploiting it, yeah. They don't exploit or focus on them being poor or in their privilege. They focus on them working hard. Which I think is the right message. Yeah, 100%. Not that, you know, you can work hard and still not achieve. But 
it's a better message to tell you that if you work hard, you can at least have a chance at it. Yeah. And this doesn't, it doesn't focus on them having to rise from nothing. Like, that's still an element, but it's not a focus. Yeah. They're not milking that, oh, we had nothing and now we have it all. Which I do appreciate. And I think it even makes a point that, like, Richard really wanted to make sure that his girls stayed humbled. Because even when he thought that they were potentially gloating, like when Venus won against the other yeah. girl in the junior circuit, he made them get out of the car and almost left them. Well, you know? his, his focus was, we're not going to make fun of the other people for losing. Mm-hmm. We're going to focus on how we won. Which, again, there's a lot of good messages in this. I don't think there's... The movie's very well meant. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think... People will enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I don't think it's inspired. I don't think it should give us picture. But at the end of the day, if a biography was going to get it, which normally it does, this was the best one to get it, even though it's not even my favorite. Yeah, I guess. I'd say this was probably my favorite biography that I've seen for 2021. But I also didn't watch that many. (laughs) Yeah, I gave it a six. Which... I think it's my fair rating. It's like right in the middle. It's not closer to a 7 or to a 5. It's a 6. Mm. It's a positive grade for my scale, whatever that means. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was a good message. It was cute. It was way too long. And I feel like Will Smith really, really, really wants an Oscar for some reason. It's not going to validate him. He's already the most famous actor out there. But I guess he wants it and he might get it. Yeah. Um, I gave it a seven, mostly because I think I enjoyed it a little bit more in terms of um, just how inspiring it feels and how feel good it does. It, it is, you know. I could I could see us watching this with family, you know, just having it on. I just, I just can't imagine this is something that's rewatchable for me, though. Mm, I guess, but. but- it, you know. We'll go over what it got nominated for. So obviously it was nominated na- nominated for Best Picture. Um, Will Smith got the Best Actor nom. Doi. I mean, <laughs> I think the nomination is fine. And I think it probably always going to happen. But I don't know. They, they really went for the, the win with this one. I think Will Smith believed that this was his turn. Mm-hmm. And he went for it all the way. But then they also got... Su- the supporting role. Supporting actress. Yeah, yeah. For, for, of course, for actress. For Anjuane Ellis? Anjanu? I don't actually know how to say her name. Because, you know, she's not a, a big actress. I never heard her name said. Hmm. So, once I hear it, I'll... It'll click in my head. <laughs> and also got uh, Best Original Screenplay, which mm-hmm. I think... Yeah, that's, that's the best. Valid. No- that's the best nomination. Yeah. That's that's the nomination I would have given it. Yeah, best film editing, which mm, yeah, it's a sports biography. They always get editing. That's true. And uh, best original song, which obviously it's a Beyonce song. So I didn't like it though. I did. I I actually like the song, but I kind of like Beyonce. Like I like her music. Mm. I don't think you do. So it's a little different. I don't really care. I just didn't like this one song. Mm. It plays at the end. See, I feel like when I hear it, like when I saw, you're going to make fun of me for this, but when I saw the trailer <laughs> and they have the song in the trailer, um, I don't think it plays at all during the movie. It plays at the, the end credits, but it was made for, for this movie. Just with the trailer and with that song, it like makes me feel emotional. Mm. Like the the movie itself didn't really make me feel emotional, but like that song coupled with like, like, the dad believing so hard in his daughters, you mm. know, that that made me emotional. I think it's the second worst trailer of the year. <laughs> you know what the worst one is? I don't know. It's Serrano. Ooh. <laughs> That's saying something. Yeah, the movie's a lot better than the trailer for King Richard. Yeah, I guess. The I, don't trailer, know. I thought the trailer was really, really cringy, honestly. I know, I know. That's why I never mentioned it until right now. <laughs> But I remember watching it when we saw like other movies. And it was this always play. playing. Yeah, this would this would like the number one that would play. Um, this, there's something about the Beyonce just singing 
and a dad loving his daughters <laughs> that just got me a right. little bit. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm, I think I'm going to cut the episode here and end it. Yeah. So if you want to join the Beehive, click follow <laughs> and subscribe and give us a rating. And we'll see you with the next Oscar highlight episode.